Hello all, I'm Dr. Hajra. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought of addressing a few FAQs on Embry. Now this is basically for the ones who have just come across the term and has no clue on what Embry is, how do you apply, what makes you eligible for writing the exam and all of those things. So I was at that stage a few months back. So this is all my insights that I have gathered along the journey. So um, let's get started. So what is Emory? Emory is Emirates Medical Residency Entrance Examination, which is like NEET PG in India. So in simple terms, it is like a post-graduation entrance examination. So an exam that makes you eligible to apply for residency program in UAE, like you have NEET PG in India. So who can write Emory? So Emory is for the ones, for the doctors who are trying to pursue residency program in UAE, not to work as a, uh, not as a licensing exam, but for an entrance exam. The licensing exam in UAE are DHA, MOH and HAATH, DHA for Dubai, MOH for other Emirates other than Dubai and Abu Dhabi, and for Abu Dhabi you have HAATH. HAATH is a two-step exam, the others are a single-step exam that you can write back in your country, pass the exam and then apply for license and only for job hunting maybe you have to be present in UAE, attend interview and get selected and continue working as a general practitioner or as per your expertise you can uh, apply for a, a specialist job. But uh, Embry can be written only in a lane that is where it is conducted and it is starting from December to March happens as a cycle okay so it happens in eight different days and you can choose your date to appear for the exam once you pass the exam you can use that score to apply for the residency program when the application begins usually by the uh, beginning of march and it uh, runs throughout march but for nbru which is a dubai uh, thing the application start early on and it uh, usually ends by March 27th, that was this year. Now, uh, Emory is a unified exam for Abu Dhabi, Dubai, whichever Emirate you want to apply the residency program, the exam is a single exam happening on eight different days. Okay, but licensing exam are different for different Emirate. Now, how do you make this, you know, eight different days, how do you make that fair? Because, you know, entrance exam usually happens on a single day you know on that score uh, you will have a rank basis that is what is happening in our country in for NEET it's a single day exam and uh, the rank will be uh, it'll be the main criteria that allows you to choose a particular residency program but here since you're having eight different days they not only have a percentage score which is your score basically they also have a percentile score percentile score means you uh, your score compared to others so if you have 100th percentile that means you are the top scorer in that particular exam or if you have 95th percentile which means you have uh, done better than 95 percent of people or your score is um, better than the 95 percent other people who have written the exam so this percentage and percentile score and aggregate of that will make it fairer for all the people who are writing the exam on different dates. So you can um, plan according to the date that gets uh, published usually by the end of November or the beginning of December. So the basic step is to go to NIH's website. They'll have the criteria listed, which is your MBBS must be from a college, which is listed in the WHO list. You can uh, go there and search for your college. If your college name comes there, you can apply. You need to have your internship completed only before the start of residency. So you can write the exam well in advance, maybe during your final year or during your internship because the score stands valid for two years. So if you have written Emory last year and you have had a good score, because as an IMG, you have to... Uh, you have to work for the uh, highest score possible. More than 80% is good. So uh, when you have that, you can apply even this year with this last year's score. So the score stands valid for two years. You can write as a final year student or an internship during your internship. But you have to have your internship completed by the end of August to, uh, to make you eligible to apply this cycle. Suppose you are applying this year 
for the residency program before the beginning of residency program probably in september or october by the end of august which is they say by august 31st you have to have your internship completed also you need to be physically present in uae because the exam center is only in alain to be able to write the exam so you have to arrange your visa your ticket everything nothing will be provided because you are simply booking the slot at the nihs website and uh, after your profile gets approved and then you have to make arrangements to be there at the exam center now uh, in, in you not have a residency visa to appear for the exam that is exempted because you can have a, a visiting visa and come and write the exam and go back and come again for the interviews because other application process everything happens online now uh, the licensing exam as i told they are different for different emirate you can write um, uh, in your country itself have the license come to uh, come for interview and job hunt and then work here now people often ask is emri uh, required as a licensing exam no emri is for the residency program is licensing exam required to write emri no licensing exam is to practice here in uae residency entrance examination is to apply for the residency program now suppose you wrote emri you passed but you did not get selected for the residency program then you need not have a licensing exam again you can use this emri to Uh, apply for the license, but you need to have two years clinical experience to start working in UAE, because that experience criteria is to work here. That is mandatory. Now, uh, MD score uh, good to you know maybe start working in India. No, your NEET PG doesn't apply in UAE. So does MD. It does not apply to India. It's just a residency entrance exam to UAE. now uh, if i have passed usmle do i it, does it make me more stronger in my cv see your uh, your residency entrance uh, th- the main criteria that they look is you have to be interested to work here to serve here to um, you know uh, to get uh, to look forward to getting trained here so if you have other um, uh, li- licensing exam like plap 1 plap 2 see passing different exams can have a positive impact on your overall academic achievement suppose you have a great score in those exams good but it's not mandatory to start uh, applying for the residency program here only thing is you need to have your mbps you need to have your internship completed before residency and you need to have a good mbps score and good gpa during your mbps that is also meant uh, a good thing and a criteria because in uh, what happens in our our uh, setup in india is we get through mbbs um, you know by by any means we get through mbbs and then we uh, we study like we have never done before for neat pg score the highest and the only that rank will be that single day exam will be the criteria to apply for the residency for the post graduation program your rank will decide your specialty but here unlike that uh, scenario here it is different they look for your gpa so your overall performance during your mbps your uh academic perf- achievements your extracurricular activities what all you have been doing you know all those things and then your mbe score both your percentage your percentile your number of attempts everything because if you have had multiple attempts during the same cycle it will affect your score so suppose you fail the first attempt and then you apply again you write the exam again because it happens on eight different days you have the choice but for neat pg again that choice is not there because if you fail this time or you have a low score this time the only thing you can do is wait until the next year to write the exam but here you have the choice but that affect your score because your number of attempts your percentage and percentile for different attempts will be cumulative uh, while calculating the final uh, score for your emri then you need to have a strong cv also for applying for the residency so your mbps gpa emri score and your cv so you can gather experience in research field extracurricular activities whatever you can 
suppose you are in the fine layer, you still have time to better your CV. So make it a strong point for you, which can vouch for you uh, when applying for the residency program. Now, um, these are the basic things that people usually ask. Now, how do I uh, prepare for Emory? So to prepare for Emory, usually the uh, recommended books are USMD Step 2 materials, which is like a first aid cup plan, Toronto notes, all have been great. You can also uh, go through the past files, uh, which is available through Telegram channels and Google Drive and all are available. And you can also do as many questions as possible from the USMD Step 2 materials, Step 2 question banks like from Ambos, UWorld. If you have subscription, well and good. Otherwise, you have Telegram PDFs available. You can do from there as well. And this exam also have image based question. So you need to go through the X-rays, ECGs, derma questions, especially all those things so that you get well versed with those. Now, also, unlike NEET PG, you don't have negative marks here. Only uh, thing is you need to have a high score. Your uh, high percentages in IMG will be good when you are uh, applying for the residency program. Now, apart from the exam, there are certain documentations which I've talked about in my other video. So if you are new here and um, trying to learn more about Emory, do follow, subscribe my channel, leave comments if you have any doubts. And we'll get uh, through the series uh, in the coming days as well. Thank you so much.